Aloha. I just wanted to share a moment of reflection on uh, some. I was I was watching the Young Turks video earlier today, and it was talking about um, <clears throat> the bankers and how the bankers did this and they did that, and it was all focused around the economy. And they're talking about oh yeah, the economy, the bankers did this to the economy, and it really kind of just like it got me going. Got like I was. I just came back to the Bay and um, coming through the West Oakland Bar Station, I get approached by, um, yeah, I approached by a lady who was just asking for money and I mean, everywhere you go and somebody asking for money and somebody asking for something everywhere and she was telling me her story, everybody's got a story and then there's the hustlers, they got the hustlers out there. And then they also had the people who are uh, genuinely, you know, in need. But ultimately, all of them are in need. And that's the main point I really wanted to get out there right now is that um, anything that you're seeing on the news, anything you're seeing talk, pol politicians talk about, anything that you're seeing on even the alternative news sites on the Internet, all of this stuff is missing the whole point of the humanity of the, the the humanity the human issues that are going on right now. So when we talk about uh, the bankers did this and now uh, you know put the bankers in jail and you know why are they putting them in jail and then why why like what's the point? And every time they go back, they're talking about the economy and it's falling on the economy. So they're asking about you know oh they imploded the economy even on the Young Turks. Talking about, oh yeah, the bankers did this. It, not that I expect anything from the Young Turks, but that's just the video that I was watching earlier that really kind of pissed me off. Where, you know, the two of them are just sitting up there on their their little webcam studio talking about, oh yeah, you know, the bankers, they're responsible, all real emotional. And like, you know, they're, they're there talking about, oh yeah, they, they did this and they did this to the economy. Fuck the economy. It's not about the economy. The people that are missing the point, they're missing the point. The whole issue is that these bankers, this whole system itself is responsible for poverty itself. The people on the streets, these babies are on the streets right now. This the, the, the bankers and they're just the front man for the entire system itself. And the the game is to keep people um, in a in a state of mind of focus based upon a, a, a storyline that is pre prepositioned for people to get caught up in and so they can vote and think that they're voting for something that's for their benefit but you're actually voting for uh, a section of the story and getting all emotional investing your energy and your voting at the polls and all that stuff this is all magic. The same reason why they use sacred symbols like this, the flower of life on a fucking box of tissue, to wipe up your tears after the damn stories that all get run through your life and get the, the, the bankers and the politicians send the sheriffs to your house to evict you out of your home. These are people stealing land. This ain't no different from the Native American story and the indigenous people's story all over the, all over the world right now. It's just got another face on it. It's got a suit and a tie. And people are just, these are babies on the streets. These are grandmothers being put on the streets for legislature. This for, for, for lies. Straight up just bogus information that's getting put out there. And people vote on this stuff because they only got half of the story or a quarter of the story. And, and think that they're part of some capitalistic or democratic system that is doing this and that. No. And then the next, the, 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 the behind the scenes, that is that the next story that's being put out there with Bernie Sanders and the whole progressive, so-called progressive slavery movement and all that bogus stuff. This is all just to keep people in a deeper state of control, like a lockdown of your consciousness. So when we really talk about, when you really talk about Occupy Wall Street and Occupy all this other stuff, you occupy, first of all, you occupy an occupied land, first of all. This is already the Native American land, so you can't occupy land that's already been occupied. Second of all, if you're asking for, if you're asking for, uh, um, 
you know, change in the economy out there, you already missing the whole point because there's people out there, it's bigger issues out there, it's the human story that's out there that's being missed completely. And it's is it goes as deep as symbols like this being manipulated within the uh within the the subconscious, the subliminal messages. It's everywhere you look. All these so called alternative news sites and all this stuff, this is ain't nothing but a deeper layer of uh, the program itself. So these bankers are actually responsible. Uh, these are front men. It's a, it's a whole layer. I'm not putting blame on anything, but what I'm saying is that the system itself <clears throat> needs to be taken a look at. And these, these systems that are being put out there as the next systems to be also need to be looked at with a fine tooth comb so, so we can realize that we there's stories behind stories, just like when everybody thought the civil rights movement was all this and all that, and look what happened, look what happened over the years. Now that was just a, it was a buffer, it was a buffer for uh, deeper control, deeper layers of can, deeper layers of grip. So, my main point was that if anybody's talking about uh, the economy and all this shit relating to the bankers and and whatever else is coming about, realize that none of that stuff really exists when you realize that the bankers are really their henchmen for the the henchmen for the bankers are the sheriffs and the sheriffs show up to people's homes and they put babies out on the streets. They put grandmothers out on the streets. They steal land with these lies. That's the main point I wanted to put out there is because I mean it's already out there is people just get so bombarded by the distractions that are on the television and these other news sites out there and people that call themselves you know putting out information and most of them mean well but it really pisses me off when people just kind of like laugh and you know joke about you know oh the end of the bankers are gonna get theirs and all this shit now it it really they can't even get theirs because their theirs have been going on for so long and it's blood in the it's blood in the in the earth right now. It's blood all over the place. It's people, it's babies and grandmothers on the streets right now because of these bogus laws and, and regulations and all this stuff that gets just gets made up and piled on top of the indigenous stories of the land, the human stories of the land. So this the these these uh these uh so called uh regulations and um this uh this whole scene this whole setup is the foundation to poverty itself and if you're trying to save the economy and save the money and all this other stuff you're gonna end up saving more blood on the streets and more poverty more separation more missing the point so i just i'll leave it there